For an extraordinary look into our rich past, follow us as we explore Buckeye Landmarks. North of Columbus in Westerville sits the Hanby House, home of Benjamin Russell Hanby. Abolitionist, teacher, and minister, Benjamin Hanby was a famous composer, writing nearly 80 songs, including a Christmas classic and one of America's most stirring pre-Civil War songs. Built in 1846, the Hanbys moved to this three-bedroom home in 1854. Benjamin's father, William, was one of the founders of nearby Otterbein College. The Hanby House was an active stop on the Underground Railroad, and it was young Benjamin's task to safely escort runaway slaves from the barn into the kitchen each night for supper and worship. In a day when room and board might cost 75 cents a week, the fine for harboring slaves was $2,500, but the Hanbys were never caught. This Rosewood Hazelton Square piano is similar to the one where young Benjamin honed his skills as a musician. As a young man, he wrote, My Darling Nellie Gray, telling the story of an escaped slave who lost his one true love. Before the man could buy her freedom, she was sold in Kentucky and gone forever. More than a ballad, this song became a famous anthem for the abolitionist movement. Also in this parlor is furniture made out of horsehair, the most durable material of the time. In the upstairs bedroom, Benjamin actually made this walnut desk in the corner while he was a student at Otterbein. Among Benjamin's other compositions is a Christmas favorite, Up on the Housetop. This lifelike doll is like the doll mentioned in the song as a gift made especially for a little girl. The second upstairs bedroom is now a museum. Original signed sheet music lines the walls and Benjamin's first wooden flute sits near an odd looking object, which is a piece of the first airplane crafted and flown by Benjamin's distant relatives by marriage, Orville and Wilbur Wright. Benjamin Hanby's music lives on today and his legacy can be celebrated at the Hanby House in Westerville, Ohio.